Hello everyone and welcome to Easy Media. My name is Israel Ajayi. Once again, I want to congratulate you, you for the success of this um, video tutorial. Uh, this is the fourth video tutorial on Premiere Pro. And if you're a Premiere Pro user and you've been following up for the past one month, congratulations, you are becoming a master in Premiere Pro gradually. And um, this is the end of the first section. We have three sections, which is three months, and this is the end of the first month. So you're proceeding further gradually, gradually, and gradually. Hooray! I hope I would have something funny to say, though, but let's just take a business because I really don't want to waste time like I promised in the previous tutorial. So let's jump into Premiere Pro and let's see what Premiere Pro has for us. Yeah, we are in Premiere Pro. I already imported my footage. I thought that already. And I already brought it down to my source monitor, so I think I've spoken about that already. So if you don't know how to do that, go watch the previous videos so you'd understand how to do that. So this is a video I am actually working on and um, it's just for a friend. He's a dancer, so I'm just doing something for him. So let's jump into the order of today. So I spoke about um, our inserts, our overrides, with, and I spoke about how to export just a frame out of Premiere Pro. I'll be going further into our tools gradually. So let's move quickly into the first thing for today. So if I, like I said, I and O to mark in things, this is the beginning of the video, hit my eye and I move from the time, probably around here and I press hold. Now this video is not having an audio, so it's just a video and a video. You know? Now, like I said, you can keep the sequence settings or you can. So I keep, since I know what I'm doing, this is what I, I just keep my distance settings. So if I preview this, you can see how short the clip is. Yes. Now I want to add more clips to it so that probably I want to jump to when he started dancing and I pick it up to this extent. Then I say, oh. Now uh, I'm cutting it the way I like. I'm not really, uh, I don't really have any sequence right now. I'm just copying, cutting the way I like. So I move probably to this place again. And before it lands, I will probably just cut. Now, is this is something you would get used to as time goes on because in Premiere Pro, I think cutting is just one thing you. You must know how to do so. I and O, I click and I drag. That's just it. I and O. But in a more professional scenario, you won't be cutting the way I'm cutting, and you would have your time in and time out, so you won't be cutting anyhow. But for the sake of this tutorial, I'm just cutting so that you would understand what I'm about taking. So now I have one, two, three, four, five different cuts and. Uh, if I play back this video, it's dragging though, but you would understand what I'm trying to say. Now I'm back. I did a quick render so that it will play very smooth. Now you can see how smooth it is now. So now this is the video all the way. So now, if for example, now let me zoom in a little so you'd see my, my cut properly. Now, if for example, now, and by the way, I use plus to just zoom in. Now, if for example, now I want to insert something in between this place. Oh, for, okay, in between this place, why is that dancing just up to this extent? I want to insert a clip there before he starts dancing. Probably a clip of him talking. Let me double click on this and just look for something. Now, this has an audio. I'm going to mute the audio. I don't need the audio. Now, probably a clip a clip of him from this. Probably a clip of, of him from this place. Now, I move probably just some seconds forward. Three seconds. I'm cool. Now, if I want to just put the video in here without me coming to cut it or do something just to a long process, I'm just call it like that. I can just simply click on this place, boom, and it fits itself into the clip. And simple as it is. Now, for example, now, now this clip is a bit too long, so let me just shorten it and right click, repo delete, and it's gone. Now, if you see, if I play this video back, you can see. He moves into his him talking there, went back into the dancing. Room. So that's that for the insert. Now for the overrides, let me undo my actions and let's see what override does. 
Now, if you click on overwrite, what overwrite does is just it overwrites from this place to the length of the visuals as a whole, the footage as a whole. So if I overwrite, if I click on overwrite, it, it, it totally erases it and instead of me repo deleting or whatever, it just deletes it itself and fits itself into the place perfectly without any issue. So that's what I want also to also. That's that for that. And um, I think the shortcut is um, full stop and the shortcut for the insert is comma. So um, export frame. Now, for example, if I want to export just this frame where he, uh, let me just, if I want to export this particular frame, probably I want to use it as the art of this particular video. I can just come here and click export frame. Now, this is a steel frame. Now, it comes in different formats. We can, we have a JPEG, we have a PNG, we have a TIFF, we have a GIF and there's so many formats. Now, for example, if I say JPEG, I browse into the folder I want to save this this picture and I want to save it at the folder where all the old um, project is and I select the folder and I say OK and that's that for that it is automatically saved into the folder and you can also go back look for it provided you know where you save it you can also always go back there you just take a look at the video and the picture you've already taken and you can take a whole lot of picture along the way so let's move into our tools because the tools is one thing we really need to focus on right now now we have our ripple edit tool now our ripple edit tool if you over the mouse at the middle of your cut you can see a yellow arrow just kind of pop out and you can see what that does already now if i click if i click and drag the ripple edits like for example now if I delete this particular scene here and I right click, you can see Ripple delete. Now, what does Ripple delete does? It deletes it and closes the gap. Now, if I undo that and I click on my Ripple edit, if I move my mouse over it, then I try deleting probably a section, try, trying to reduce probably a section, it automatically reduces it and deletes it at the same time. That's why it's called the Ripple edit tool. Now the next one is roll, rolling edit tool. Now the rolling edit tool, the shortcut is N. And what the rolling edit tool does just is roll over the, the the footage, the clips over here to this particular part, depending on where I am actually moving. If I move the clip this way, now let's take a look at the the, the visuals from this place. Now you can see what, what happened. Let me, let's take a look again. You can see once more again. Now if I use my rolling edit tool and i move it probably a notch and i play back the video you can see there's a difference between what you saw the other time and what you're seeing now that's what the rolling edit tool does so in creative ants this tool is, is is a bomb if you don't know how to use it i'm sorry you'll just be messing around with it so i hit my v and we are moving to the next two which is our rate stretch to what does our reach stretch to does simple if i isolate this particular clip and i want to increase or decrease the frame rate of this particular clip now what is frame rate i'll be taking that probably after the old three months when we're moving into the visuals if you when we start our film tutorials and the like so then i'll speak a little more about it but for now now i'll just want to increase the frame rate of this particular um, visual so if I come over here if I over my mouse the tick you can see changes also and I can also simple as ABC either increase it or decrease it now if I decrease it the clip is going to play very fast and if I increase it it's going to play very slow that is where the frame rate thing um, comes to play now for example I increase it I increase this now and I try playing back you can see how slow the thing plays very 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 slow now if I stop this for now and I try reducing it, making it very small, reducing the length of the footage. Now it's going to play pretty fast. You can see how fast that is. Now that is what your frame rate does. So let me undo that again and come to one masterpiece you can't actually forget. The shortcut is C, very close to V. Now with this C, with this, it's it's called the eraser tool. Now if you want to just you know make um, a cut just over your mouse to the tip where most of the time i zoom in a notch and i move my 
time indicator wherever I want to cut and just even if it's not really on it you can just make your cut and you can see it's cut already now let's quickly make something one creative move and let's see if we can do something awesome now we're gonna make several cuts here I hope this won't take time but I know you understand now if you move your right arrow key you can just move your timeline indicator quickly and make your cuts that is a very short way to make your workflow quick and fast now there's one um particular effect you see in videos and sometimes you might be like wow how did you do this thing especially when the beat is very fast it goes with a very fast beat you'll be wondering how come how did you do this now this is how i think they do it so now if i press my v i can simply delete every frame in between i'm just leaving one behind and i'm deleting one now you should already have an imagination of what you'll be seeing already because what i am doing is just i'm deleting just one frame at a time one frame at a time so now if i reduce this and give it a playback you can see what you have is this not beautiful now if you have a very fast if you have a fast beat underneath it you will just see the whole thing do blah, blah 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 something very something you would love let's go again blah 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 blah, blah. that's pretty that's pretty cool though so for now that is where i'm gonna stop for today at least you've understood a, a little bit about the two and um, we spoke about our inserts our overrides snapping and we took a little bit about it too so i don't know how many minutes i've spent already though but i hope it's not more than 10 minutes and um hope you enjoyed this tutorial if you don't understand anything always put it in the comment below i would go and i'll check it out and i'll see and if you have any question or any suggestion or anything whatsoever just put it down there we are open to ideas and options we really really appreciate it so i would really appreciate it if you like this video subscribe to this channel because after these three months of awesome tutorials we have a whole lot of coming so until next time my name is israel Aja.